Hello and welcome to Someka Recruitment Tracker for Google Sheets. To use the template, make sure you are online and sign in with your Google account. Then you have to make a copy of this file. Just go to File and click on Make a Copy. This tool helps you to track the jobs and candidates and displays the professional looking recruitment tracking system. There are four parts in this template Dashboard section, Settings, Vacancies, and Candidates. Let's start with Vacancies first. Start entering your job details to this list. The information you'll input in this section will be used dynamically in the dashboard. Let's give an example. Let's choose the opening date. Since we just opened this job, it's still vacant and we are looking for some candidates. So I'm going to choose vacant here. You may also change or add new options for department, recruiter and status from the settings. Once you're done with the job details, you can continue with the candidates part. Enter your candidate details for each section. The data on the gray area coming from the vacancy section, so you don't have to edit the gray section. And once you choose the job ID from the drop down list, the relevant department, job name, and name of the recruiter will be displayed automatically in the gray area. So let's move on to candidate name. Since the job is still vacant, the candidate must not be hired. So let's say he is in the interviews and choose the decision as in process. If the hiring decision is not made by one individual, you may click the plus sign here to see the colleague's view. And you may choose their opinion from the drop down lists. And you can optionally add your comments for each candidate. And if you need additional columns for comments, you may click the second plus sign button. Once you enter all candidates, they will be ready to be chosen in the dashboard section. So let's continue with the settings. This section represents the options for drop down menus. You may add or change options for each category. You may rename the colored options, but do not change the logic. And the selection phases are used for the recruitment funnel chart and they are defined in a logical way. You can also rename them, but do not change the order of it. Now we can continue with the dashboard section. This is where you analyze your data. Once you enter all your job and candidate data, you may see the results of the data you input on the dashboard. You can see the recruitment pipeline chart according to stages, percentages of application sources, final decision pie chart, and number of applications for each month of the chosen year and the vacancy fill rate. You can also apply filters to narrow your results. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to check our other templates at somica.net.